How do you stabilize this, given that we have some form closure? How do you use force closure to keep this part of the ring stable? What I want to make the argument for is you need a dynamic stability of the SI joint that at the moment you have heel strike in the various phases of your walk, at the moment that you have heel strike, all that weight is coming, all the ground reaction force is coming up through the femur and would love to take this hip this way. But your spine is coming down and would love to take the sacrum this way. So there is this sheer element uh, through the SI joint and in order to have it be nice and stable that this part of the body is going down this leg. Remember we talked about standing on one leg? Well, you're standing on one leg most of the time that you're walking. The major part of your weight is on one leg or the other. So in that place, you need the force closure of this joint to happen while you're going through the stance phase until you get to the push-off phase and at the very moment you do the push-off phase and you start the swing phase, you want this leg to swing through and you want the pelvis to do, the hip bone, to do that little bit of nutation in the joint or what we would call a posterior tilt in the joint. In other words, the hip follows the femur. Let's get this right. The hip follows the femur that way, which means this joint has to be loose. Well, at the moment that you heel struck over here, this joint has to be form and force closed.